Hello students, today we are going to solve more examples on the basis of this uh, two theorems that is a tangents drawn from an external point to the circle are equal. Okay. So first example is the radius of the in circle of triangle is 4 cm and the segments into which one side is divided by the point of contact are 6 cm and 8 cm. Okay. So here BC side is divided by the point of contact P in two segments that is BP and PC length of BP is 6 cm and length of PC is 8 cm okay so if BP is 6 cm BQ also 6 and if CP is 8 cm CR also 8 cm because tangents drawn from an B and C so BQ and BP these two tangents drawn from point B and CP and CR these two tangents drawn from point C okay so here first we have to find other two sides of triangle means we have to find AB and AC okay so if we take AB and uh, means AQ and AR are equal so if we take AQ and AR x centimeter so if BP is 6 centimeter BQ also 6 centimeter so this is 6 centimeter then CP is 8 centimeter so CR also 8 centimeter okay so first we have to write this here aq is equal to ar is equal to x bp is equal to bq is equal to 6 and cp is equal to cq is equal to 8 okay and reason is here tangents drawn from an external point okay now next here first we have to find area of triangle abc by using heron's formula so for that first we have to find semi perimeter so semi perimeter is equal to ab plus bc plus ac divided by 2 so here ab is equal to x plus 6 plus bc is equal to 14 that is 6 plus 8 14 plus ac is equal to x plus 8 divided by 2 so x plus x this is 2x 6 plus 8 14 plus 14 28 divided by 2 if we take 2 common and cancel with this 2 we will get x plus 14 so s is equal to that is semi perimeter is equal to x plus 14 now we have to find area of triangle ABC so area of triangle ABC by using Heron's formula that is S into S minus A S minus B into S minus C so we can consider any side as it that is ABC okay so here S is X plus 14 S minus A so X plus 14 minus so if we consider BC side is a A, so minus BC that is a 14. So minus 14, S minus B that is X plus 14 minus, if we take this side is a B, then B is a X plus 8. So minus, here I am writing in bracket X plus 8. And into S minus C. So S minus C is X plus 14 minus if we take this side is a, as a c that is a x plus 6 so minus x plus 6 now if we simplify this this we will get x plus 14 plus 14 minus 14 will get cancelled so here x remain then x plus 14 minus x minus 8 and this one is x plus 14 minus x minus 6 so here this will have x plus 14 into x x minus x cancel 14 minus 8 that is a 6 so multiply by 6 multiply by this x minus x cancel 14 minus 6 is 8 
so here we will get this answer is 6 8s are 48 so 48 x into x plus 14 okay so this is area of triangle abc so here we will give this equation as a equation number 1 okay now we will find area of triangle abc by joining this all points that is a if suppose this center is o so we have to join oa ob oc and oq and or okay so this area we will get now i am rubbing this so if we join this all points this oa ob oc and if we join this or and oq this or and oq perpendicular because this or and oq are radius and op also radius and angle between the radius and tangent is 90 degree okay so these all are radius okay so if we take area of triangle abc this we can write addition of or sum of all these three areas of three triangles that is triangle aob triangle boc and triangle aoc okay so this area we can write area of triangle aob plus area of triangle boc plus area of triangle aoc okay so area of triangle aob is half into ab into base is ab height is oq so half into ab into oq plus area of triangle boc is half into bc into op plus half into this area is area of triangle aoc is half into base ac and height or so half into ac into or okay now if we put all these values half into ab is x plus 6 so x plus 6 into oq is radius that is a 4 centimeter plus half into bc is this radius is 4 centimeter given bc is 14 so 6 plus 8 14 that is half into 14 into op so op is 4 again plus area of triangle aoc that is a half into ac ac is x plus 8 into 4 or is 4 so half into 4 we can take common from all the three terms so half into 4 in bracket remain x plus 6 plus 14 plus x plus 8 okay so here this half and 4 this 2 2 are 4 2 remain and x plus x 2x plus 6 plus 14 20 plus 28 that is 2x plus 28 if we take four or uh, two common from this so here that is 2 into this 2 so we will get 4 in bracket x plus 14 okay so this is area of triangle abc okay so this is equation number 2 now this from 1 and 2 we can equate the area of triangle abc because both are area of triangle abc so we have to equate this now i am rubbing this one so from 1 and 2 if we equate this 2 so from 1 and 2 4 into x plus 14 is equal to square root of 48x in bracket x plus 14 now if we have to remove this square root we have to we have to take square on both sides so if we take square 4 square is 16 and x plus 14 bracket square is equal to here 48 x and x plus 14 okay so if we divide this 16 here x plus 14 square is equal to 3 x into x plus 14 okay now here if we take this if we shift here x plus 14 bracket square minus 3 x into x plus 14 is equal to 0 now if we take x plus 14 common 
what is the remain here x plus 14 minus 3x is equal to 0 so x plus 14 is equal to 0 or here if we simplify this x minus 3x that is a minus 2x plus 14 is equal to 0 so x is equal to minus 14 this is not possible because x means length of the side so x is equal to minus 14 is not possible so we have to take minus 2x okay here we have to write first this is not possible therefore minus 2x plus 14 is equal to 0 so 2x is equal to 14 x is equal to 7 so if x is equal to 7 length of the side ab is equal to x plus 6 so ab is equal to x plus 6 that is a 7 plus 6 is equal to 13 centimeter and ac is equal to x plus 8 that is 7 plus 8 is equal to 15 centimeter okay so these are the two sides of triangle ab a, B and ac now we will take second example okay second example is two tangents tp and tq are drawn to a circle with center o from an external point t we have to prove that angle ptq is equal to two angle opq okay so for that first we have to use angle sum property in this triangle tpq now here triangle tpq is an isosceles triangle because tp and tq are two tangents drawn from an external point t so these two tangents are equal so first we have to write triangle tpq is an isosceles triangle that is tp is equal to tq okay and angle tpq and angle tqp that is also equal because in isosceles triangle base angles are equal therefore angle tpq is equal to angle tqp okay now here we have to use if we use angle sum property in triangle tpq so in triangle tpq angle tpq plus angle tqp plus angle ptq is equal to 180 degree now here we want angle ptq so we have to replace angle tpq or tqp in one of the two angles okay so if i am replacing this angle tpq or tqp with tpq so angle tpq plus angle tpq plus angle ptq is equal to 180 degree because these two angles are equal so here if we give one from one now here two angle tpq plus angle ptq is equal to 180 degree okay now here angle ptq is equal to 180 minus two angle tpq or if we find the value of angle tpq okay we will get like this way if we find value of angle tpq so two angle tpq is equal to 180 degree minus angle ptq okay so angle tpq is equal to if we divided by 2 to each term so we will get angle tpq is equal to 90 degree minus half of angle ptq okay now this value we have to use here okay so how we use this here angle opt this angle is 90 degree okay because angle between radi radius uh, radius and tangent okay now this angle opt we can write angle opq plus angle tpq okay so first we have to write this angle opt is equal to 90 degree reason angle between radius and tangent okay 
now this angle opt we can write angle opq plus angle tpq now here we have to use this angle tpq angle tpq is 90 minus half of angle ptq so angle opq here we have to give 2 plus angle tpq value is 90 minus half of angle ptq is equal to 90 degree this is from 2 okay now if we simplify this angle opq is equal to this 90 degree and this 90 degree will get cancelled and minus half of angle ptq if we shift here that is a plus half of angle ptq now we want in this form ptq is equal to 2 angle opq so shift this to here so we will get angle ptq is equal to 2 angle opq okay so this is the proof this is this one is important example for exam okay now we will take third example okay third example is pq is a chord of length 8 cm so this is a pq chord of length 8 cm given of circle of radius 5 cm the tangents at p and q so these two tangents are there pt and qt intersect at point t find the length of tp so we have to find the length of tangent tp okay now here pq is a chord okay this is 8 cm so and ot we know that this ot is a angle bisector of angle ptq okay so we can show that this ot is a perpendicular to chord pq okay so how we show that if this is a angle bisector so we can show that triangle tpr and triangle tqr congruent by side angle side criteria okay this tp is equal to tq because tangents drawn from an external point to the circle are equal these two angles are equal by theorem 4 and this tr is a common side so we can show that these two triangles are congruent by SAS criteria and after that we can show that these two angles are equal by CPCT and sum of these two angles is 180 so one of the angle is 90 degree okay so this is a by uh, perpendicular on perpendicular bisector means PR and QR also equal by CPCT so this is a perpendicular bisector of chord PQ okay so if this is perpendicular bisector we can write so here first we have to write TP sorry T O or T R is perpendicular bisector of chord PQ therefore PR is equal to RQ is equal to half of 8 centimeter that is a 4 centimeter okay so PR this is a 4 centimeter now OP is radius that is a 5 centimeter so if we use Pythagoras theorem in triangle ORP so in triangle ORP OP square is equal to OR square plus PR square okay so OP is 5 square OR square is we have to find OR so OR square plus PR square PR square is a 4 square so 5 square that is a 25 minus 16 is equal to OR square so OR is equal to OR square is equal to 9 OR is equal to 3 centimeter okay so OR is equal to 3 centimeter now here this OR is 3 centimeter if we consider TR is Y centimeter and this TP is X centimeter okay so here we have to suppose that TR is equal to Y centimeter and TP is equal to X centimeter so TR is equal to Y centimeter TP is equal to X centimeter now we have to use 
पाइथागोरस थ्योरम इन ट्रायंगल टी आर पी सो इन ट्रायंगल टी आर पी टी पी स्क्वेअर इज इक्वल टू पी आर स्क्वेअर प्लस टी आर स्क्वेअर ओके सो टी पी स्क्वेअर इज एक्स स्क्वेअर इज इक्वल टू पी आर इज फोर स्क्वेअर प्लस टी आर इज वाय वाय स्क्वेअर सो एक्स स्क्वेअर इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन प्लस वाय स्क्वेअर ओके दिस वे विल गिव इक्वेशन नंबर वन नाव वी हैव टू यूज पायथावर स्थेरम इन ट्रायंगल ओ पी टी ओके सो इन ट्रायंगल ओ पी टी इफ वी यूज पायथागोर स्थेरम सो हियर एंगल ओ पी टी इज नाइंटी डिग्री बिकॉज हियर ओ पी इज अ रेडियस एंड टी पी इज अ टेंजेंट सो दिस एंगल इज अ राइट एंगल मीन्स ओ टी इज अ हाइपोटेनियस सो इफ वी यूज पायथागोर स्थेरम हियर फर्स्ट यू हेड राइट एंगल ओ पी टी इज इक्वल टू नाइंटी डिग्री देन ओ टी स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू ओ पी स्क्वेर प्लस टी पी स्क्वेर ओके सो हियर इफ वी पुट वैल्यू नाउ हियर ओ टी मीन्स ओ आर प्लस आर टी सो ओ आर प्लस आर टी ब्रैकेट स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू ओ पी स्क्वेर दैट इज अ फाइव स्क्वेर प्लस टी पी स्क्वेर दैट इज अ एक्स स्क्वेर सो इफ वी पुट वैल्यू ऑफ ओ आर एंड आर टी वी विल गेट दैट ओ आर थ्री सेंटीमीटर सो थ्री प्लस आर टी इज वाय सो थ्री प्लस वाय ब्रैकेट स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू फाइव स्क्वेर इज ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस एक्स स्क्वेर नाउ इफ यू पुट वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेर दिस सिक्सटीन प्लस वाई स्क्वेर हियर सो वी विल गेट फर्स्ट वी विल एक्सपांड दिस थ्री स्क्वेर इज नाइन प्लस वाय स्क्वेर प्लस सिक्स वाय इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेर इज सिक्सटीन प्लस वाय स्क्वेर ओके सो हियर वाय स्क्वेर विल गेट कैंसल नाइन प्लस सिक्स वाय इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस सिक्सटीन दैट इज अ ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस टेन थर्टी फाइव प्लस सिक्स दैट इज फोर्टी वन सिक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी वन सॉरी फोर्टी वन माइनस नाइन सो सिक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी वन माइनस नाइन फोर्टी वन माइनस नाइन फोर्टी वन फोर्टी एंड देन थर्टी टू सो वाई इज इक्वल टू थर्टी टू बाय सिक्स सो इफ यू रिड्यूस दिस वाई इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन बाय और हाँ ओके सिक्सटीन बाय थ्री ओके नाउ हियर वी हैव टू फाइंड वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स दिस टी पी सो इफ वी पुट वैल्यू ऑफ वाई सिक्सटीन बाय थ्री हियर वी विल गेट वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर स्क्वेर दैट इज अ सिक्सटीन प्लस वाई स्क्वेर इज सिक्सटीन बाय थ्री ब्रैकेट स्क्वेर सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन प्लस सिक्सटीन स्क्वेर इज टू फिफ्टी सिक्स अपॉन नाइन सो सिक्सटीन नाइन जर वन फोर्टी फोर प्लस टू फिफ्टी सिक्स अपॉन नाइन दिस इज अ एक्स स्क्वेर सो एक्स स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू वन फोर्टी फोर प्लस टू फिफ्टी सिक्स सो एक्स स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू दैट इज अ फोर हंड्रेड बाय नाइन सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी बाय थ्री सेंटीमीटर ओके सो वैल्यू ऑफ टी पी दैट इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी बाय थ्री सेंटीमीटर ओके Now we will take next example. Fourth example is in figure L and M are two parallel tangents at A and B. The tangent at C, so this is another tangent, makes an intercept D between L and M. So D is the intercept at point C. Prove that angle DFE is equal to 90 degrees. So we have to show that this angle is 90 degree. For that. we have to join this af and fb okay this is not a straight line so we have to join this on the af and fb okay so here first we have to show that this also we have to join again fc so first we have to show that fad and cfd these two triangles congruent so in triangle CFD and triangle AFD, okay. So CFD and AFD in these two triangles, CF is equal to AF, 
because these two are radii of same circle so reason is radii of same circle then da and cd are equal or we can write cd is equal to ad tangents drawn from point d okay and fd that is a common side so fd is equal to fd so this is a common side so we can write this two tri these two triangles triangle cfd congruent to triangle afd by sss criteria okay so if these two triangles are congruent we can write these two angles are equal by cpct so angle adf is equal to angle cdf by cpct okay similarly we can show that these two triangles congruent that is a triangle bef and cef and we can show that these two angles are equal so similarly we can write angle bef is equal to angle cef okay now here l and m are two parallel tangents okay and if we suppose that this d is a transversal so angle ade and angle bed these two are alternate interior angles so sum of this alternate interior angle is a 180 degree so here we can write first l parallel to m and d is a transversal therefore angle ade plus angle bed is equal to 180 degree this is sum of interior angles on the same side of transversal or we can write cointerior angles okay now here angle ade and angle bed are equal okay so this angle ade we can write two angle cdf okay because these two angles are equal so angle ade this angle ade we can write two angle edf okay or cdf so instead of this angle ade we have to put here two angle cdf plus or instead of cdf we can write edf so two angle edf plus similarly angle bed this angle bed we can write two angle fed because these two angles are equal so angle bed we can write two times angle fed okay so two times angle fed is equal to 180 degree okay here we can write by using 1 okay now if we divided by 2 angle edf plus angle fed is equal to 90 degree okay if we give equation number 2 here now here if we use angle sum property in triangle dfe so in triangle dfe angle dfe plus angle edf plus angle fed is equal to 180 degree okay but here edf and fed sum is 90 degree so angle dfe plus this sum is equal to 90 degree so plus 90 is equal to 180 degree so angle dfe is equal to 90 degree okay so this is the proof okay now we will take next example now we will take examples uh, here first example is in two concentric circles a chord of length 24 cm of larger circle becomes a tangent to the smaller circle 
whose radius is 5 cm find the radius of the larger circle okay so here uh, these two concentric circles are there concentric circles means center is same and radii are different okay and what is given a chord of length 24 cm of larger circle becomes a tangent to the smaller circle so suppose ab is the chord of larger circle and which becomes a tangent of the smaller circle and radius of smaller circle is given 5 cm so suppose this is radius op that is a 5 cm okay we have to find the radius of the larger circle so if we join this oa we have to find oa okay now here what is given ab is equal to 24 centimeter that is the chord of larger circle okay now we know that angle between radius and tangent this ab is a chord of larger circle that is a tangent of smaller circle okay so if ab is a chord of larger circle and this is a tangent of smaller circle op is the radius so angle between radius and tangent that is a 90 degree okay so here op perpendicular to ab okay so op perpendicular to ab now we know that if perpendicular drawn through the center of circle to a chord bisect the chord okay so op is the perpendicular to a chord ab so op bisect the chord ab okay so we will get ap is equal to pb is equal to half of ab okay this theorem we learn in 9th standard if we draw perpendicular through the center of a circle to a chord then that perpendicular bisect the chord okay so here ap is equal to pb is equal to half of ab that is half into ab is 24 so half into 24 that is a 12 centimeter okay so ap is equal to 12 centimeter now we have to find radius of larger circle so if we use pythagoras theorem in triangle opa we will get length of oa okay so in triangle OPA angle OPA is equal to 90 degree okay so OA square is equal to OP square plus AP square so OA is OA we have to find that is OA square is equal to OP is 5 centimeter that is 5 square plus AP is 12 square so 5 square is 25 12 square is 144 so this is 169 so OA square is equal to 169 therefore OA is equal to 13 centimeter that is the radius of bigger circle that is a or larger circle is 13 centimeter okay now we will take second example okay second example is the radii of two concentric circles are 13 cm and 8 cm. AB is a diameter of the bigger circle. BD is a tangent to the smaller circle, touching it at D. Then we have to find the length of AD. Okay. So here construction is there. We have to extend this BD or we have to produce BD. Meet the bigger circle at point E after that we have to join a e then we have to find a d so join this a and d also okay and also we have to join this o d okay now we have to find first what is given here so first you have to write given quantities here radius of two circles are given 13 centimeter and 8 centimeter so ab is a diameter so ab is equal to 26 centimeter okay od is equal to od is the radius of smaller circle so od is equal to 8 centimeter okay 
now first we have to find here length of bd okay because here bd is a tangent od is a radius so angle between the radius and tangent is 90 degree so we can find length of bd okay so in triangle odb angle odb is equal to 90 degree angle between radius and tangent okay now if you use pythagoras theorem in triangle odb so ob square is equal to od square plus bd square okay ob square is equal to od square plus bd square now ob is this is 13 centimeter od is 8 centimeter so 13 square is equal to 8 square plus bd square okay now 13 square is 169 8 square is 64 plus bd square so bd square or the 64 we can shift here 169 minus 64 is equal to bd square so bd square is equal to 105 so bd is equal to square root of 105 okay so length of bd is equal to 105 centimeter okay now here again this be is a chord of bigger circle and od is perpendicular to the chord of bigger circle so if perpendicular is there to the chord so that perpendicular bisect the chord okay so here first we have to write this od perpendicular to chord be therefore be that is a chord be we can write two times bd okay because this od perpendicular bisect the chord means bd and d are equal so this chord be we can write two times bd okay so length of be that is 2 into root 105 okay now this is total b is 2 root 105 okay now ae now there are two ways to find ae one way is to find by pythagoras theorem because this angle aeb is a right angle okay why it is a right angle because this angle is subtended by a diameter of bigger circle okay and if diameter subtend angle that angle is a right angle okay or we can write angle in semicircle is a right angle okay so here angle aeb is right angle so we can find length of ae by pythagoras theorem okay because we know that ab be and by pythagoras theorem we can find a okay another way is there here now o is midpoint of ab okay because ab is diameter o is center so o is midpoint of ab d is midpoint of b and we know that od and a are parallel because this angle is right angle this is also right angle okay so od parallel to a so we can use here uh, midpoint theorem or converse of bpt we can write first od parallel to a and if od parallel to a uh, this by using midpoint theorem od is equal to half of a okay so first we have to write angle AEB is equal to 90 degree so reason is angle in semicircle okay after that we have to write this OD parallel to A okay then O is midpoint of AB D is midpoint of B so write that O is midpoint of AB, D is midpoint of BE, therefore by midpoint theorem we can write OD is equal to 
half of ae okay that is a is equal to 2 times od okay so a is equal to 2 times od so here we can write a is equal to 2 into od is 8 centimeter that is 2 into 8 is equal to 16 centimeter now here we will get a is equal to 16 centimeter okay de we know that this is a root 105 centimeter okay so if we use pythagoras theorem in triangle aed we will get length of ad okay now we have to use here pythagoras theorem so in triangle aed ad square is equal to a square plus d square okay so a is 16 centimeter so 16 square plus root 105 square so 16 square is 256 this is 105 so if we add this this is 361 so ad square is equal to 361 therefore ad is equal to 19 centimeter okay so here we will get length of ad that is 19 centimeter so this one is important example for exam okay now we will see next one okay next example is in figure o is the center of circle pa and pb are tangent segments means tangents show that a o b p is a cyclic quadrilateral okay this is quadrilateral a o b p and we have to show that this quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral okay so when we say that quadrilateral is a cyclic if sum of angles of if opposite angles sum of opposite angles in quadrilateral is a 180 degree then we can write that that quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral okay so here we have to show that in quadrilateral aobp sum of opposite angles that is this angle and this angle sum is 180 degree so if we show that sum of opposite angle is 180 degree then we can write quadrilateral aobp is a cyclic quadrilateral okay so here oa is the radius okay oa is radius and pa is a tangent so angle between radius and tangent is 90 degree so angle oap is 90 degree similarly ob is radius pb is a tangent so angle obp that is also 90 degree okay so first we have to write this angle oap is equal to angle obp is equal to 90 degree okay now uh, here we have to write reason angle between radius and tangent okay angle between radius and tangent okay so here angle oap and angle obp is 90 degree so we can show that angle oap plus angle obp is equal to 180 degree okay both are 90 degree so angle oap plus angle obp is 180 degree okay this is one then if we take angle sum property in quadrilateral OABP or OAPB, so in quadrilateral OAPB, angle OAP plus angle OBP plus angle AOB and plus angle APB is equal to 360 degree now oap plus obp we have 180 degree so this sum is 180 degree plus angle aob plus angle apb is equal to 360 degree so from this we will get angle aob plus angle apb is equal to 180 degree okay so from 1 and 2 we can say that this quadrilateral OAPB is a cyclic quadrilateral because here sum of opposite angle is a 180 degree okay if we consider these two are means these two are opposite angles and if we take sum of these two that is a 180 and also 
we here proved that sum of these two angles is also 180 degree okay so we can write here from 1 and 2 quadrilateral a o b p is a cyclic okay now we will take next example okay next example is a circle touches the sides of quadrilateral a b c d at p q r and s respectively show that the angles subtended at the center by a pair of opposite sides are supplementary okay means here if a b and c d are opposite sides of quadrilateral a b c d then these two sides subtend angle that is angle a o b and c o d these two angles are supplementary okay means we have to show that sum of angle a o b and c o d is a 180 degree similarly sum of angle b o c and a o d that is also 180 degree so we have to write uh, we have to write first what we have to find or what we have to show so to show that angle a o b plus angle c o d is equal to 180 degree okay or angle a o d plus angle b o c is equal to 180 degree okay so for this construction is there we have to join this all o p o q o r and o s okay so if we join this o p o q o r and o s okay now here we have to give the name of these angles so suppose this angle is one angle one this is two three four five six seven and eight okay so what we have to do construction here first we have to join this join op oq or and os okay and then we have to give the name of these angles that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay now here we know that tangents if we draw tangents from an external point to the circle then they subtend equal angles at the center okay so here angle 1 is equal to angle 2 because if a is an external point then as and ap are two tangents and which subtend equal angles at the center means angle 1 and angle 2 okay already we learned this theorem okay that uh, theorem number is 4 okay in that theorem these two angles are equal we showed we shown this two triangles are congruent and by cpct we can write these two angles are equal so here angle 1 and angle 2 are equal so here first we have to write tangents drawn from an external point to the circle subtend equal angle equal angles at the center okay so by using this theorem we can write here angle 1 is equal to angle 2 angle 3 is equal to angle 4 angle 5 is equal to angle 6 and angle 7 is equal to angle 8 okay now we know that sum of all these angle is equal to 360 degree okay because angle subtended at a, at a point that is equal to 360 degree okay so angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus 4 plus this angle 5 6 plus angle 7 plus angle 8 is equal to 360 degree okay now here 1 is equal to 2 now if you have to show that angle aob plus angle cod is equal to 180 degree so angle aob that is formed by angle 2 and angle 3 and angle cod is angle 6 and angle 7 so all these angles okay other angles means 1 2 4 5 and 8 these angles we have to convert in the terms of 6 7 and 2 3 okay so here angle 1 and angle 2 so instead of this angle 1 here i am writing angle 
2 plus this angle 2 as it is plus angle 3 as it is because we want angle 3 now angle 4 we have to write as angle 3 plus angle 5 we can write angle 6 plus this angle 6 as it is plus angle 7 as it is and angle 8 we can write angle 7 is equal to 360 degree okay so 2 times all these angles angle 2 plus 2 times angle 3 plus 2 times angle 6 plus 2 times angle 7 is equal to 360 degree okay now if we take 2 common and divide so we will have angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 6 plus angle 7 is equal to 180 degree okay now angle 2 plus angle 3 that is angle AOB so angle AOB plus angle 6 plus angle 7 that is angle COD so angle AOB plus angle COD is equal to 180 degree this is 1 okay now by using this we can show that angle AOD plus angle BOC is 180 degree sum of these two means so how we write this AOB plus angle AOB plus angle BOC plus angle COD plus angle AOD is equal to 360 degree okay so angle AOB plus BOC plus angle COD plus angle AOD is equal to 360 degree okay now AOB plus COD AOB plus COD is equal to 180 so 180 plus BOC plus AOD is equal to 360 so angle AOD plus angle BOC is equal to 180 degree okay so first example is AB is a diameter of a circle so here AB is a diameter of circle P is a point on the semicircle APB so this is semicircle APB P is a point on this semicircle AH and BK are perpendiculars AH and BK are perpendiculars from A and B respectively to the tangent at P so this is a M point is external point and MP is a tangent AH and BK are perpendiculars from A and B to this tangent we have to show that AH plus BK is equal to AB. Okay. Now here we have to extend this AB up to point M. Okay. Now AH distance we have to suppose at X. BK distance we have to suppose at as a Y. And this MB distance as a Z. Okay. So first we have to write this given. So here this OP is a radius and this is a tangent. So angle between radius and tangent is 90 degree. So OP perpendicular to MH. Okay. Similarly, AH perpendicular to MH and BK perpendicular to MH. This is a given. Okay. Or MP. We can write here MP. That is a tangent. So here OP perpendicular to MP. H perpendicular to MP and BK perpendicular to MP. Okay. Now, here if this is perpendicular, then AH parallel to BK. Okay. And this BK parallel to OP also. Okay. So AH parallel to BK parallel to OP. So these three lines are parallel to each other because this is right angle okay so if corresponding angles are equal lines are parallel so AH parallel to OP and OP parallel to BK so all the three lines are parallel to each other okay now we have to consider triangles so if we consider triangle triangle MBK and triangle MOP okay so if we consider these two triangles in triangle M K B and triangle M P O. Now here angle M K B and angle M P O. These two are right angle. Okay. So angle M K B is equal to angle M P O. Both 90 degree. 
then this angle is a common angle so we can write here angle KMB is equal to angle PMO that is a common angle so therefore triangle MKB similar to triangle MPO by A criteria okay now these two triangles are similar so corresponding sides are equal okay so oh sorry our corresponding sides are in proportion so here we can take corresponding sides are MB upon MO MB upon MO is equal to KB upon PO okay so if we put this values MB is equal to Z okay okay here we have to write this what we have to suppose here so AH is equal to X BK is equal to Y and MB is equal to Z okay now we have to put all these values MB is equal to Z MO so MO is equal to R plus Z so we have to put this value here R plus Z KB is equal to Y and divided by PO that is a R so if we simplify this and if we find value of Z RZ is equal to YR plus Y into Z if we shift this Y into Z here so RZ minus Y into Z is equal to YR if we take Z common R minus Y is equal to Y into R and this R minus Y if we shift here Z is equal to YR upon R minus Y so this is the value of Z okay next if we take these two triangles MBK and MAH okay so in triangle M K B and triangle M H A okay here again same angle M K B is equal to angle M H A both 90 degree okay and again K M B and H M A K M B is equal to angle H M A that is a common angle okay so these two triangles triangle M K B similar to triangle M H A by A criteria okay so M K B similar to M H A by A criteria so corresponding sides are in proportional so we have to take this sides MB upon MA divided by uh, sorry is equal to KB upon HA okay so MB value is Z MA that is a Z plus R plus R that is a Z plus 2R is equal to KB Y and H A that is a X so if we find value of Z by using this that is a X Z is equal to Y Z plus 2R Y so if we shift this Y into Z here X Z minus Y into Z is equal to 2R Y Z take common X minus Y is equal to 2R Y so X minus Y if we shift here Z is equal to 2RY divided by X minus Y okay so if we give the here 2 and here 1 these two are values of Z so we can equate the values of Z okay now I am rubbing this one okay so from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 YR 
upon r minus y is equal to 2r y upon x minus y. Okay, so here y r will get cancelled. So what is remain? 1 upon r minus y is equal to 2 upon x minus y. If we multiply this, x minus y is equal to 2r minus 2y. Okay, so if we shift minus 2y here, x minus y plus 2y, that is a plus y is equal to 2r. Now if we put values of this, x means ah, y means bk. So ah plus bk is equal to 2 into r. Now 2 into r means diameter, so that is a ab. So we have this now, ah plus bk is equal to ab, okay? Now we will take second example. Second example is O is the center of a circle of radius 5 cm. So here OP is 5 cm, OQ is 5 cm. T is a point such that OT distance is 13 cm and OT intersect the circle at E. If AB is a tangent at point E, find the length of AB. Okay, so we have to find the length of AB. Now here OT is 13 centimeter. Okay, so we have to start solution. OT is equal to 13 centimeter. OT we will get OE plus ET is equal to 13. OE is the radius. So OE is equal to 5 centimeter. So 5 plus ET is equal to 13. So ET is equal to 8 centimeter. 13 minus 5. Okay. So this ET we will get 8 centimeter. Okay. Now if we consider this AP distance is X. Okay. So AP is equal to X. So AP if point A is external point and from A there are two tangents drawn to the circle that is a AP and AE. So AP is equal to X that is a AE also X. So if AP is X, AE also X. Reason is tangent drawn from an external point A to the circle are equal. So AP and AE are equal. Okay. Now here if we use Pythagoras theorem, here OP is a radius and TP is a tangent. So this angle is a right angle. So if we use Pythagoras theorem, we will get length of TP. Okay. So in triangle OPT, angle OPT is equal to 90 degree. Therefore, OT square this is right angle so ot is the hypotenuse so ot square is equal to op square plus tp square okay so ot that is a 13 square op is 5 square is plus tp square so 169 is equal to 25 plus tp square so tp square is equal to 169 minus 25 that is a 144 and tp is equal to 12 centimeter okay now tp is equal to 12 centimeter total tp is 12 so 80 value of 80 we will get 12 minus x okay so this 80 that is a 12 minus x so here first we have to find 80 that is a tp is equal to ta plus ap and tp is 12 ta plus ap is x so value of ta is equal to 12 minus x okay now here ab is a tangent at point e again oe is a radius so this is a right angle so if this is a right angle this also right angle so we can use pythagoras theorem in triangle aet okay so if we take triangle AET, so in triangle AET, angle AET is equal to 90 degree. That is angle between radius and tangent. Okay. 
सो देर फोर ए टी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर प्लस टी स्क्वायर ओके सो ए टी इज ट्वेल्व माइनस एक्स सो ट्वेल्व माइनस एक्स ब्रैकेट स्क्वायर ए इज एक्स सो एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टी इज एट सेंटीमीटर और ए टी इज एट सेंटीमीटर सो एट स्क्वायर ओके सो इफ यू एक्सपांड दिस ट्वेल्व स्क्वायर इज वन फोर्टी फोर प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्सटी फोर ओके नाउ दिस एक्स स्क्वायर विल गेट कैंसल वन फोर्टी फोर माइनस सिक्सटी फोर इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर एक्स सो दिस इज एटी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर एक्स एक्स इज इक्वल टू एटी अपॉन ट्वेंटी फोर ओके सो इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई दिस एट टेन जर एंड एट थ्री जर सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू टेन अपॉन थ्री सेंटीमीटर ओके सो इफ दिस इज टेन बाय थ्री सेंटीमीटर ओके दिस ऑल्सो वी विल गेट सेम ओके बिकॉज इफ वी यूज सेम प्रोसीजर हियर वी विल गेट बी ऑल्सो एक्स दैट इज अ टेन बाय थ्री सेंटीमीटर सो दिस ए बी वी कैन राइट टू टाइम्स ए ई दैट इज अ टू टाइम्स टेन बाय थ्री सो ए बी लेंथ वी विल गेट ट्वेंटी बाय थ्री सो ए बी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी बाय थ्री सेंटीमीटर ओके सो लेंथ ऑफ टेंजेंट फ्रॉम पॉइंट ई दैट इज अ ट्वेंटी बाय थ्री सेंटीमीटर ओके थर्ड एग्जाम्पल इज If an isosceles triangle ABC in which AB is equal to AC is equal to six centimeter, is inscribed in a circle of radius nine centimeter. So here OB and OC, these two are nine centimeter. Find the area of the triangle ABC. Okay. So here, if we take these two triangles OAB and OAC, okay, we can show that these two triangles. triangle o a b and triangle o a c these two triangles we can show that congruent okay how we show that congruent here a b and a c equal o b and o c equal and o a that is a common side so we can show that triangle o a b and triangle o a c is a congruent okay by ss sss criteria then if triangles congruent by cpct we can take triangle or uh, angle bao this angle and angle cao are equal okay then if we consider these two triangles triangle bpa and triangle cpa in these two triangles ab is equal to ac this angle equal to this angle and ap is common side so by ss criteria these two triangles are also congruent and by cpct we can write this two angles equal and if this two angles are equal each angle is a 90 degree okay so here i am writing this as a directly p is a midpoint of bc okay this also we can show by using cpct bp is equal to pc because these two triangles congruent by ss criteria so by cpct we can write bp is equal to pc and this ap perpendicular to bc also okay so here in solution i am writing directly p is a midpoint of bc and ap perpendicular to bc okay so if ap perpendicular to bc this op also perpendicular to bc okay and if perpendicular drawn through the center of circle to a chord then it is bisect the chord okay so op perpendicular to bc therefore bp is equal to pc is equal to half of bc okay now if i am taking ap is equal to x and bp is equal to y okay so let ap is equal to x 
BP is equal to Y. Okay. Now here OA is equal to 9 centimeter. Okay. Because OA is also radius. So OA is equal to 9 centimeter. So OP how we write? OP is equal to 9 minus OP we can write OA minus AP. Okay. So that is 9 minus X. So OP is equal to 9 minus X. Now if we use Pythagoras theorem in both triangles that is APB triangle and OPB triangle. Okay. So first time using in triangle APB. Angle APB is equal to 90 degree. Okay. So AB square is equal to AP square plus BP square. Okay. So AB is 6 square. AP is X square and BP is Y square. So 36 is equal to X square plus Y square. This is equation 1. Okay. Second equation. Now if we use Pythagoras theorem in triangle OPB. So in triangle OPB angle OPB is equal to 90 degree. Okay. So OB square is equal to OP square plus BP square. Okay. OB is 9. So 9 square is equal to OP is 9 minus X. So 9 minus X bracket square plus BP is Y. So Y square. Okay. If we expand this 81. This is a 81 minus uh, or plus x square minus 18x plus y square okay so if we use value of y square by using this then we will get first simplify this this 81 will get cancelled so here we have x square plus y square minus 18x if we shift here that is a plus 18x okay or if we equate this okay x square plus y square so here we will get from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 18x is equal to 36 so x is equal to 2 okay centimeter so x is equal to 2 centimeter if we put value here so from 1 36 is equal to 2 square plus y square so 36 is equal to 4 plus y square y square is equal to 32 y is equal to square root of 32 that is a 16 to the so 4 root to centimeter okay so y is equal to 4 root to centimeter but we have to find area of triangle abc means we want base bc so bc is equal to 2 into y so that is 2 into 4 root 2 that is equal to 8 root 2 centimeter okay so area of triangle abc how we write area of triangle abc is equal to half into base bc and height ap okay so half into base bc is 8 root 2 and height ap is that is x so x is equal to 2 so this 2 will get cancelled so area of triangle abc is 8 root 2 centimeter square so this is the area of triangle abc okay so this is the final answer area of triangle abc okay and one doubt is there means student ask every time why it is not like this way okay we can take like this way also BC okay some students are taking like this way but it is not possible because here AB and AC are given 6 centimeter okay this is 6 centimeter okay but radius of circle is 9 centimeter okay so here if this is 9 centimeter AB is 6 centimeter is not possible okay so this AB and AC are on the one side of center o okay so don't take like this way okay here figure is not given we have to draw figure 
so take figures like this way ab and ac these are 6 cm okay so because this ab and ac are here it is not 6 cm okay it is greater than 6 okay so if we want ab and ac 6 cm take a, B, and A, C on the one side of center O. Okay, so this is not correct figure. So correct figure is this. Okay.